welcome to video two of our 10 part series that's gonna take you all the way from novice to solid power user of ACDC Photo Studio Ultimate. My name is Alec Watson. In this episode, we're going to take a data card and import it into ACDC. Of course, we could just hit, hit the import button, but we wanna, I wanna take you through the process because this will save you a lot of work in your future. So I'm gonna go up to File, and click import, no surprises there. We're doing it from a device, in this case being a card reader. Uh, there's my card reader. And it's gathering information. There we go, it has found 774 photos on this card. We're going to choose a destination. I'm gonna go through here, we're gonna make a new folder. We'll call it sexy, oops, sexy hair, they are the client for this, there's been a couple of shoots for them on here that I'm working on. Okay, so all of these images are going into sexy hair. Before I hit import, what I wanna do, I wanna put in some metadata. Metadata is like a fancy word for saying, we're, I wanna embed some information to help uh, people find these, including myself, in the future. So we'll go in where it says apply metadata. And you, you can see there's one that says Alec Watson here. I'll show you how that worked is we're going to go with a custom preset and we're gonna customize it. Now, I'm gonna to struggle to talk through this. I will do my best. If I scroll down, you will see that in this thing called IPTC. IPTC, oh I mean, they're, they're a standards organization. The advantage of me using, using IPTC for things like keywords, so words, are, Keywords are things you're gonna find in the future. So sexy hair. Uh, this was shot in Culver City. Uh, the campaign was called Big. It's red. It's got models. It was shot by me, Alec Watson. Oops, Alec Watson. Well, yeah, that'll do for now. And we'll go campaign. Campaign. These keywords will show up in the future on anybody's computer. And uh, even honestly, when um, Google does a search, it can actually find uh, keywords still inside of JPEGs. Now there's all sorts of information down here, emails, web uh, URLs, copyright notices. What I'm gonna do, I'm just, for, for now, I'm just gonna take this and hit Control C, because I'm gonna copy that. I could apply this, but I have gone in and I made my own preset. So. All this preset is, is if I go in there, it's just got my name as Alec Watson and some information that I use every single time. If I go in to these keywords, I will hit Control V. So I use a preset. You can make your own preset for things that you would want people to find every single time. Uh, basically your name, uh, title. This is where I would put sexy hair campaign 2025. The description big campaign, and we can fill in all sorts of information. That, that'll work for now. Uh, country, well, let's just go ahead and put USA on there, and state, California will apply. That's going to now get applied into all those images when we import. So it is going into that folder there, and this is gonna start populating. I will pause there while that populates. I'll go ahead and click on this folder and you can see the images starting to populate in there. They're gonna be a little slower because the AI is actually going in and having a look at each of these images. It, uh, it's the computer's applying this metadata to what's called a, a sidecar file. It, again, stuff that doesn't really matter to you or to me. The technicians can all know that. But to me, it's really cool that no matter what image I click on, over on the right-hand side, here is all of this information that I put in, and I could still add more if I wanted to. Now, if I wanna see more images come in, I can just re-click, repopulate, and there we go. So it's gonna take a few minutes for those to go in. And like I said, the, the AI uh, is actually set to, in real time, be going through these and if I look, let's see, AI keywords already, we've got clothing, dress, and person as getting put into these. So 
one of the things that I'm excited about in future is that the AI, as I'm ingesting photos, is going to be adding to the keywords, which helps me find, find, thing, find things later. That is the simple process for ingesting photos, uh, adding keywords, and customizing a, a little bit of a preset just so you can make it shorter because this stuff is surprisingly important. You know, I know where these images are today, but I promise you three years from now when that client says, hey, Alec, could you pull me up that picture? Yeah, I'm not gonna find it. This is how we find it by taking that time. That does it for episode number two. In our third episode, we're gonna do a dive into manage mode and show you how we start to organize these, uh, all these files and folders. And that's where things get, I don't know, they get a little more exciting for me. Maybe a bar is set low for exciting. Uh, join me for episode two. Yeah.